Thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people expected to descend on Times Square to watch the ball drop on New Year's Eve. Uh, on this side of the He's table, back. I have Frederick two Clark, of our everybody. New Year's Eve correspondents. <laughs> this, this reminds me of the time I got invited to a sorority formal, and she told me that she forgot to tell me it was black tie. <laughs> because you guys have ugly Christmas sweaters, and I actually look respectable for you. You just a, 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 regular, a regular sweater on. <laughs> so, so the the two of you uh, will join Dean Meminger, yeah. who who's in studio wearing the, a more outlandish holiday yes. outfit than, yeah. than than any of us. For sure. Uh, and and you're crossing your fingers for no rain. Yeah, well, like I said, no we've cold, had some yeah. bad luck over the past few years. But either way, I think everyone makes the best of it. But it would be nice. We didn't have that because, especially I'll from work my, Please, my come powers on, Eric. here to control the weather. Help but us out. it does look right now, I mean, it's way out there, but it looks like it would be dry and cold. But let's see if that mm. holds. Last year, I, we were saying the same thing around this time last year, and then it ended up being a huge, huge rain. I'd rather be yeah. cold, yeah. right? Yeah. Rather be cold. I'd rather be cold you guys and be able to bundle up and get wet. Yeah, yeah. You'd rather be cold, oh, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. better than rain. Yeah, I do. All not right. agree. Shannon, Shannon spent some time in Times Square this week to look oh, ahead to the New Year's Eve preparations. <laughs> The start of a new decade is almost here. I would imagine this is a very busy time of the year for you. And Tim Tompkins, president of the Times Square Alliance, will help transform the crossroads of the world just in time for New Year's Eve. You think about it, something like the Super Bowl halftime show, they build that in an empty stadium. Here you're putting, getting ready for a big show with about a half a million people, the busiest time of the year, passing through. They come here, I think, because we all need a reset, especially after a year like this. We need a reset for the world. We need it for ourselves. And we look back where we've been in our last year. We say, what do we want to leave behind? Oh, we say, I have plenty. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. How long is that? Then? You can write down your hopes for the new year on the wishing wall, which will be on display until December 25th, or submit them on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag confetti wish until December 28th. The wishes will be used as confetti on New Year's Eve. Better self. My hope for 2020, to worry less about the future and be more present. So that's the thing. If you have a wish, it could be anonymous, but it will not be private because plenty of people are going to be grabbing. Yes, it may land its own mouth. About 25 million pieces of confetti will be used New Year's Eve, weighing a whopping one and a half tons. So we have moved inside now. I've always wondered how the confetti gets out there and drops out to all of these people. It's an incredibly complex process. Let me tell you, this takes years of training, but we're going to give you a speed <laughs> course because I know you're like a fast learner. Oh, turns out it's done manually by about 100 people standing in different buildings around Times Square. Just grab a handful. Okay. All right, grab a handful. All right, you come over here. Oh my God. And say, you say five, four, three, two, one, and you're going to throw it out, OK? OK, they're so going to be so confused. Five, right? four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Sing. Nobody's cheering for us. You have got the job. <laughs> Thank Your you phone so is much. over. As we mentioned, our live coverage from Times Square will be hosted by Dean Meminger again. This has become an, an annual tradition, and, and Dean always surprises us, dressed to impress when he shows up on the New Year's Eve broadcast. Here's a sample of some of his outfits over the years. I feel like we need the Brady Bunch music to this <laughs> image, but look at all the outfits. What well, he will he even, wear? Even when you're not on camera, he shows up to anything New Year's Eve related like that, including your podcast. Are you both exposed to to the weather for the entire yeah. yes. evening? Yeah. Actually, we get there really early, too. We get there about 3 o'clock because we have to start setting up. Uh, you should see the scene really in, like, in the news van. Like, there's like 18 people. Yeah. Uh, all like really cool. like, ah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you can you can learn more about uh, our preparations for New Year's Eve by uh, going online wherever you get your podcast and listening <laughs> to Crosstown. <laughs> And you can join us on December 31st, New Year's Eve. Like uh, we'll have updates through the evening, and then our live <laughs> report starts at 11 p.m. What are you two doing? <laughs> You're trying to stay warm. No, stay I'm trying warm. to demonstrate my like, even, You don't even know this together. person. There's some new photographer who just started, and, and you're like, like leaning you know, up against I'm it. Like, I don't know you, but I'm freaking freezing. <laughs> we'll be watching you from the warm comfort of our home. Yes, please watch. <laughs> Looking forward to great coverage. It's, 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 it's the best way close. to watch all the tourists in Times Square is to you, right. you as the New Yorker sit at home yeah. and have the best seat in the house. And you know what's like lit on New Year's Eve? Hmm. Olive Garden in Times Square. Oh, oh they have a great view. 
Great it's, beer specials. It's 827. Nice to have you here this yes. morning, Roger. Political buzz up next. This is Mornings on One. <laughs>